Hi, uh, welcome to Hydro Center's uh, video on satellite hydroponic system. I'm Scott and uh, hoping to show you some stuff on the satellite hydroponic system. Um, so we have got a um, video here which we're going to start. Um, this is a, a system which we've got here in the store. It's a um, six pot satellite system. We're using uh, the clay terracotta balls which hold moisture uh, but not a lot of it and we can run water through the clay balls from a nutrient tank and recirculate it back. At the moment we're using it under lights but it certainly works perfectly well with sunlight, indoor, outdoor, it is fine. There are a wide variety of crops and here we've got recirculating a nutrient is running through the pots. We're using tea pieces here which allows us to spread the water out or a dripper ring but the stand, standard for the system is a single emitter um, which is works fine as well. The um, uh, clay balls hold water for several um, several hours, so you can feed every couple of hours without um, having any problems, but it certainly wouldn't last days without water. Um, here we have got a recirculating back to a tank full of nutrient, and that's all the nutrients the plants would require. The submersible pump pumps up through a 13mm hose, and then uh, we reduce it down through a 13 to 6mm T-piece. The 6mm hose then runs up into the uh, growing cell, uh, where it runs through the clay balls, filling the clay balls up with nutrient. The excess runs away, leaving it at the perfect moisture level. And it runs out the rubber grommet through the joiner, hose, T-piece back to the tank by gravity. It's sitting on a board which we don't supply, but um, you can use pots or boxes or something to keep it up there. And uh, that's how simple the system is. Uh, we've got it all sitting there, uh, very easy to use. So it's a trickle feed system. It's not a drip feed because drip, drippers tend to block up. Uh, trickle feed is pretty uh, safe to use. Uh, using expanded clay balls. Again, if the water runs through it, it fills up the balls. When the balls are full, the excess water falls straight back to the tank. So uh, you find the right moisture level every time. Um, we do it by running 15 minutes every hour when they, for the first week while the roots are still underdeveloped. And then about 15 minutes every two hours thereafter if you find that you think that they need more water than that uh, we can talk about that most of the time people will say the 15 minutes is a lot of water to give a plant and uh, some people will run uh, less feeds at night uh, when the lights off so that, uh, when the sun's gone uh, just because they want it to be drier because the, the drier it is the more oxygen around the roots the more oxygen around the roots the faster they take food and water and the better they grow um, so generally the system is simply to change the tank every 7 to 14 days. 7 days would be for performance, 14 days would be for economy. Um, it, the system can be used with other media like coconut, coir, perlite or a mix of media but because they absorb more water uh, you would feed less often, maybe a couple of minutes. Uh, with coconut coir probably a couple of minutes every uh, 2 to 4 times a day. Uh, perlite uh, again, a couple of minutes, probably three or five times a day. Um, you have to be very careful. In a dry, less humid environment, there's a little low evaporation. So somewhere like maybe Adelaide down south of in southern states of Australia, compared to say northern states and then Queensland, for instance, where there's lots of humidity, um, media might stay wetter longer. So we need to be careful that we don't overwater. With expanded clay, uh, it's pretty universal. But with absorbent medias, you can over water. So, just you know, my suggestion is stay with the clay balls um, because that'll you can overfeed that and nothing will ever happen. Um, upgrades that you could use, you could use a nutrient tester. One of the most uh, favourite ones is to uh, have a, a little ball valve. We've got a little adjustable one, so you can adjust the float, um, the depth of the water in the tank, and have it fill the tank up automatically from a, a separate tank of water. Um, then you can adjust the nutrient strength using a nutrient tester. Um, you can also test the pH and adjust it to get the optimum nutrient uptake. Um, in cold climates, uh, very popular is using a heater. Uh, in, uh, in hot climates, using an air pump and air stone to cool the water. Um, regardless, an air pump and air stone adds air to the water, which can help um, increase the oxygen to the plants and more absorption. Uh, extra emitters like um, putting a 6 mil T to double the amount of outlets or feed rings to give you multiple or the hydro halos which are like a waterfall tiny little holes. Uh, these are all good ideas to increase the moisture and um, spread it out so there's more oxygen but uh, uh, still plenty of water everywhere. Um, yeah, so basic summary without um, uh, 
dragging the video out would be that it's a basic system, it uh, has high performance, it recycles your nutrients, um, and I can't under, underscore this too lightly if you've got a, uh, thousands of growers that have been using this system for the last 20, I've been doing this for 23, 24 years now, and the system, this system existed back then, it exists now, people are still using it, people are still finding it's trusted, there's a lot of fads that come and go, uh, systems which claim they're going to get better or, or you know, or, or they're better than the next one, better than the next one. And But this system is reliable. It gives you a good result every time. And there's not much to go wrong with it. So um, if that's that suits you, that's great. Everybody's lifestyle is different. Some people like to have uh, systems which are complicated. Some people like systems which are simple uh, and that they give you a performance every time. So that's what might suit you. Um, so basically, um, if you want more information, hydrocenter.com that I use our website, uh, youtube.com slash hydrocenter is our video. Um, if you uh, are wanting for information, let us know. Uh, thanks for watching Hydrocenter video. Have a great day.